It's better hang it, hanging out here because my neighborhood is silent. There's not many kids in there. And in the Boston Girl Club, there's a lot of kids you can play with, talk with, and make friends. My neighborhood is quiet until like the street lights come on. And then that's when people come out, and then that's when they get drunk and stuff. I just keep the, keep my house doors locked, and we just stay in our rooms and away from the windows. Um, my neighborhood at night can't even speak on it because it's just not the greatest neighborhood. But I can't complain because I have some I have a roof over my head. The doors are locked, like can't no one like outside just come in and the security cameras, they see everything that's happening. You have to have a doorbell like to ring it and the door's always locked so nobody can get in. It makes me feel safe because there are no people coming with guns and we, we could like be somewhere where we can't be hurt. One day keep an eye on people and checking the cameras. It makes me feel like good and like protected cause like no one else could just come into club, club randomly and harm anyone. And the, there's a lot of people here that protect the whole entire building. They might not say it, like Miss Maggie, Miss Leah might not say it out loud all the time or like even think about it. But I know if something came down to it, they would make sure we were safe before them. Like they'd kind of put us before them. Club made me feel safe because of all the staff being there and watching you. It's safe because there's like not really like any threat here and if like there's like someone like picking on you and stuff, you know, there's staff that you can come to. Like I just always felt it was safe. Like sometimes it's safer than school. I mean, some, sometimes at school teachers don't have time to sit there and focus on one person. But if we come here, then Miss Maggie and Miss Lee always makes time. It makes me feel safe because all the staff care for you and they feel if we're really sad, they will come for us. When I'm mad or sad or hurt, they ask me what's wrong because they always are there when I'm sad or mad. They're always just there for me when I need a good talk with them. Since I don't really talk, like, they'll want me to like, try talking to other people. If I'm nervous to talk to someone, they'll try making me to like at least just say hello so that I can get some of the nerves out. I can tell them anything. I can like ask them anything and they'll like, they wouldn't steer me in the wrong direction. It's just like, they're like parents kind of. <laughs> they, they tell us like, if you do something, how is it going to affect you later on life? Because I'm here a lot and you know, I look up to the staff a lot. They're good people and I just like being here a lot.